I am about to just share a little insight, financial advice, and I'm going to be using the story of what's happening with Lionel Messi in Barcelona and PSG as an Lionel Mercy. <laughs> this one is a different Mercy. This is M E R C Y. I will not be here without you. Mercy. Mercy. I will not be here without you. Mercy. Mercy. All right. Thank you very much. That was Minister Baruch on the song Mercy. This one is M E R C Y. Mercy. And it says, I will not be here without mercy. All right. Thank you very much for that song, Mr. Baruch. I am about to just share a little insight, financial advice, and I'm going to be using the story of what's happening with Lionel Messi in Barcelona and PSG as an example. Okay. Um, so yes, for all the Lionel Messi fans out there, um, I think he's a great player. I think he's a wonderful player. Um, I'm not a Barcelona fan myself, or neither was I a Messi fan, but I, I think he was adorable to watch. Um, but I'm going to be putting up some insights about what has happened in this his career over the last um, one week or two weeks and just bring out some lessons that I think might be helpful for anyone watching out there. Remember, this channel is the value channel and we try to add value to everyone listening here. So I hope you had, you know, live with some value today. Lionel Messi was a Barcelona player and his contract ended on the, I think it was the, the, the 30th of June. And since then he, he was, there was a very anxious wait on whether or not he would renew his contract. Um, so interestingly, um, stories have begun to evolve that he is no longer a Barcelona player and which has broken the hearts of so many Barcelona fans. So I'm going to pick up a lesson first from Barcelona and then from Juventus. So the first lesson from Barcelona, okay, Messi wanted to leave the club last year, okay, he was anxious to leave the club, he said he wanted to leave and um, the club made him stay, okay. Um, and then this year he wanted to stay and then the club had to let him go. And the reason why they had to let him go was because um, they were in a financial crisis. And even if he decided to play for free, they wouldn't even be able to fit him in because of the Spanish fair play rule. OK, which is such a heartbreaking thing for, for a footballer when you want to stay at the club. Um, and for a star man like Lionel Messi, it was heartbreaking. Of course, you saw the tears in the video when he did his press conference some days ago. Um, so the lesson there is, and now the, the, the first lesson I want to point out is this, okay, for financial advice, okay, I'm not saying uh, we know all the details about what happened with Barcelona, there might be some other reason we don't know, but looking at, you know, the, the, at the top level, what happened or the, 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 just on a fair basis, what happened and what was told to the, to, to the press. Okay. The first thing is. As a club, Barcelona were already spending beyond what they could afford and going so much way beyond the limits going up to this year. So the problem did not start this year. OK, so um, um, financially, I think it was a very it was poorly managed. Um, and that is why they got up to this this crisis now. So the first thing I want to mention is, you know, as a person, you can take some lesson from this. OK, if something is not working, you are better off making financial plans ahead of time for your business, for your personal life. And if you have something you have to, to give up to to stay financially stable, do it ahead of time. Do it on time. Don't wait until you're in the crisis. 
plan ahead of a crisis. So when you're making your financial plan, make projections, make three-year plans, make two-year plans. And if something is not working, start early to find how it can work, okay? The first thing was that if Barcelona had let Messi go last year, okay, they would have sold him for a very huge amount of money, maybe 100 million or 150 or 200 million even because he was worth that much. And, you know, that would have made a very big difference to their financial crisis as they are in today. But they waited. They forced him to stay beyond his wish last year. He stayed. They had to pay him more money to, to you know, appease him to stay. And then coming up to this year, they couldn't keep him. So the problem was they should have let him go last year and they would have made over 200 million from selling him last year. And that means by this year, they wouldn't have been in a financial crisis and maybe they would have bought some other special player to replace him by this year or even last year, okay? But they didn't do that. So sometimes we're trying to, you know, keep something in our lives because we think it's, you know, inflicting on our status, you know, and because of that, we make poor financial decisions. So don't make financial decisions because of what people will say, because of any reputation. Look at what you have, plan with what you have, and make plans with what you have. If you have to let something go ahead of time, do it. Why? If you wait till the end, you might be getting less value for that thing. Basel, um, Lionel Messi had to go for free. So they made absolutely no money from... In fact, they lost money because the value of the of the of the Barcelona stock in terms of the 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 the, the market value dropped with Lionel Messi leaving. And yet they didn't make any money from letting him go because his contract had expired. So he went as a free agent and they made nothing out of that. In fact, they lost money because they failed to take the financial step they should have taken last year, this year. So the, the, the advice there is take your financial steps ahead of time and don't make financial decisions based on status. Else you will be running into problems and the, you know nobody's going to help you at that stage. So the second financial lesson is from PSG, okay? PSG have been in a wonderful place this year. They got Sergio Ramos for free from Real Madrid, the captain. They got Jorginho, oh beloved Jorginho Wijnaldum from Liverpool. I'm a Liverpool fan. For free because all these people had their contract expired. And now they're getting Lionel Messi for free, you know. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity for the club and I think they're in a very great place at this time and I think every football fan out there thinks the same. Um, but I think that they are in this state, because maybe not, but I'm just going to point out what I think is financial lesson from that, okay? Um, yes, PhD have, PSG have been uh, heavy spenders over the years. The last time they spent was maybe four years ago with with um, with um, Neymar. But I, I think... You know the financial lesson there is saving okay um even though you are you are you are you know having the best life you're living the best possible life you can live at the moment it's important that you develop a culture of saving for the rainy day okay i don't know if psg were saving for any rainy day they might have gotten money from somewhere else but i think that even in their financial plan of course for them to be able to take all these people on board they were not operating so close to the limits of what they could spend, else they wouldn't be able to put all these pl huge players' wage bills into their, 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 their plan, okay? So the, the plan there is even if you have the money, you shouldn't spend everything you have every single time. You should make room for saving for the rainy day because sometimes if you do that, you might be in a position to cash in on a great opportunity when it provides itself. So if, imagine PSG were operating, let's say their, their, their cap was 410 million a year for, for salaries and they have been spending exactly 410 million. They wouldn't be able to bring in these players. They would have to sell to players to be able to bring. And of course, if you have that kind of delay in going for a player like Lionel Messi, there's so many clubs willing to take him, so you wouldn't get the chance. So if you save for the rainy day, you might be in a position to cash in on very great opportunities when they come in. Uh, there are a lot of people who make great, great money out of cashing into opportunities. You know, people are trying to do something on in distress. Of course, Lionel Messi needed to be in a club as soon as possible, and PSG were able to cash into that opportunity because they had they were in a better place financially, okay? Yes, uh, I believe that the COVID impact on the countries like Spain and France had quite a 
a toll on these clubs. But I mean, I'm just pointing out the financial lessons in these stories. So I hope that this has been something you could learn from because sometimes we watch these games, we enjoy these players play, but it's important you also pick out lessons from what is happening in their lives and in their careers to help you make be better financial decisions for yourself. Okay, so I wish Lionel Messi all the best at PSG. And in fact, um, I, I, I also wish Barcelona a great comeback from this, which I think, you know, they can. The, the first step has been letting Messi go and, of course, making room for, for, for them to clear up their debt. I wish them all the best. And I, if you have any comments about this, please drop in the comment section. Let us know what you think. It's the financial lesson from this situation that can help people in their own individual lives. Of course, get value even as fans of these football clubs. Thank you very much. This is the Value Channel and I hope that this has been a great watch for you.